just 24 Bunter Blitz Cup. Uh, my today's opponent is a young international master from Croatia, Leon Levaic. So match match format is pretty easy. The first to score eight and a half points wins. The time control is uh, three minutes with uh, zero second increment. So there will be some dirty flagging, I believe. All right, so the first game just started. We've played this opening in this European individual championship this year. So he might be prepared for that. Let's see what he has in mind. C5. Yes, it's a good move. I need to play A4 to save my bishop. I mean, now it becomes very double-edged. A3, bishop, A5. Queen, A4. Oh, I, I should take on C5. A, C6. I'm a pawn down, but okay. I have some chance for counterplay in the center. So let's see if I'll be able to create something from that. I think he just needs to move his bishop back. Yeah, that's what he does. Bishop b2. Now, now the question is, should I play e4, then go knight e5, or maybe just play rook e8. I'll probably go with e4, and then knight e5, knight c4, trying to get rid of this bishop. I mean, of course I'm worse here, but it's not not the disaster by any, by any means. Its position is four fight. I think queen e7 is a very useful move because just moving my queen from this d file. Knight a4. That was a bit unexpected. I'm not sure where the knight is going. I should probably play knight c4 anyway. Bishop c3, right. And I guess I need to create some counterplay on the queen side, on the king side, queen side. I have this pawn on a3. I need to play faster probably. All right, what should I do? Okay, I'll play look a6. I'll go for that a3 pawn. I have 15 seconds left, less than him, but okay. It's not a big problem. b5. I should take. Now I can play rook a8. I guess I ring my pawn back, but still it's very unclear. I should probably take on f6. He could take on e4 now, and then on c4, but I will have quite a strong bishop on b7. So, and I can also play knight e3 right now. I don't know which way should I go for. And I even have rook a6 maybe. All right, I'll take and play e3. I'll rook g6. And how to proceed now? Let's play h5. So after knight b6, I have rook b6. After rook c1, I have h4 maybe. 
maybe it's not, wasn't a good idea, but okay. Yeah, I need to play faster, much faster. I can take now. So, the question is, will he, have, will he have enough time to flag me or not? I believe he has enough time to win this one. But let's see. Let's see. Ten seconds left. Only ten seconds. It's very bad. Alright. Draw. Nice. I saved it. I was very lucky. Next game. Why twist time? Let's play some late against him. So he's going for some kind of hedgehog. D6, bishop e3. And my next move up precisely, rook d1, rook c1, maybe queen h4 after he castle. So I feel like it's a bit easier to play for white. So rook e8. What do they do here usually? There is this g4 move sometimes. You can play bishop h6 first. You can also play bishop h3. Okay, I'll I guess I'll go with g4. I'm gonna try to mate him. It won't be easy, but still. I mean, after g5, he always has knight h5, so. Knight c5. It's not really the move I expected, but probably not a bad move. Now I can play g5, knight h5, bishop h3, and then bishop g4. I guess that's what I should do. I guess he should go to d7. Oh, knight d7 maybe. There's knight d5. I think I'm better. Knight e4. Okay. So what can I do now? I can take on e4, knight e4, and I can play. What can I do? I can play knight somewhere. Somewhere should be e1, I guess. I think I'm being a pawn. After knight c5, I'll take on c5, bishop g2, bishop b6, queen b takes b6, knight takes g2. Of course, black has some compensation there, but maybe I should take with king actually, and then put my knight back on f3. Yes. So I'm better, but it won't be easy. By any means, but once again, I have a less time. So, I should try to play faster with this match. Because right now it doesn't feel good. So, you can play d5 now. C takes d5, maybe take on c1. D takes c6, he takes d1, but yeah. Queen c7, queen f4. But maybe d5 rocks anyway, yeah. Rook c6, okay, rook c2. Yeah, I am better, but. Yeah. 
a4, h6, I guess. Now I'll play knight h2, queen f3, knight g4. I'm much better. That should be made. That should be made. I mean, he can play king f8, but just take on b3. Basically, black has zero counter play. Rook d3. Now I have more time. I can play king g1 next move. But yeah. Or I can play f4 maybe. In a more precise way. e4. Just. Yeah, preventing all the ways just counterplay. No, can take, I think. Or maybe play King G3 first, yeah. Uh, now I'll take. Right, Rook B3. Just trying to create something. So he wants to take on B3 with B6 Rook. Right. I think I'm very good. H7 is the next move. And yeah. Queen C5. I'll just play King G2. H7 next move. Yeah, Queen E4, King G3, there's not zero checks. Alright. First game one. Not the worst start. Could be much worse. So, I think I should play something else because I didn't really like the opening, the last game. Let's go for the Queen's game. It declined. So, he takes on f6. So, what should I do now? c6, I guess, yeah? Yeah, he goes for this modern approach of just giving a mate, but g6, g4, bishop, g7, should be safe enough. g5, h5, knight e5. Yeah, he wants to play f4 next move, but I believe I will have enough counter play with c5, so just knight d7 and then c5. I really like my position. I feel like it's easier to play for me. At the same point, I mean, he also had a very strong knight on e5, so I can't say that he's a worse or anything. So now I also have a very nice structure, knight b6, the pawn on d4 is hanging. Knight e5, not sure they do now. I have to develop my bishop, c8 bishop, I can go bishop d7, I think it's, I don't care about that b7 pawn. Oh, he takes it, I didn't really expect it. So, what should I do now? Knight d5 might be an interesting move. I can also take on e5, maybe, and then play knight c4. What else do I have? Well, yeah. It's not that easy at all. Not that easy. Maybe f6. f6 is probably way too much here. Yeah? So knight d5. Yeah, I'm 40 seconds down once again. So time might be my biggest problem in this match. Surprisingly, so 97, 95. No. I think I have a very nice, very nice position. Very easy to play in, in a blitz game. 
So right now I'm pretty optimistic about my chances in the game. But I will see. Bishop e4. Probably I'll just need to play knight d6, then queen e7 or d8. Okay, bishop f3, queen e7. Next move rook d8. And then I'll eventually put my knight back to f5, I guess. So now his pawn is hanging on h4. I feel like I'm slowly outplaying him. I also have rook b4 ideas. Yeah, rook b4. d5, rook d4. And after knight e2, I have knight bishop b5. Probably. Yeah. Rook d1. Should I just take on e2? I guess not. And then take on d4. Knight c6, queen d6. He takes. Now I can take, take on d1. Take on d4, then take on h4. Well, probably wasn't the best decision for me, but it should be good enough. Now I can play knight f5, bishop d6. Yeah, I have a very strong password on the h file. I believe that should be good enough. I also have more time. Yeah, I really like what he's doing. F6. I'm creating my counterplay. Oh. Maybe I was way too optimistic. He wants to play b5 and then take on e7. Yeah. That's very annoying actually. Yeah, he can take on a7. Knight c6 now. I guess I should just try to make a draw here. Yeah, he will fuck me. Maybe not, yeah. Whew. One and a half to one and a half. Next game. Yeah, just missed to draw by one move. So some English opening this time. But maybe I should just stick with, with the righty or something like that. Castle, d3. Knight, d5. So what should I do now? Queen, d7. Do I care that much about that bishop? I should just take play rook, b1. Maybe I can take on e7, yeah? So he has to take with a queen. I'll play rook b1. Then b4. b4, b5. Yeah, it's a very complex position. b3, maybe I want to... I'll play d4. Now I feel like I need to play rook e1. Bishop h3, bishop h1. h5. It's not really going anywhere. But still a bit annoying here. h5, I'll play d4. Takes, takes. I want to play. Take on d5 on e5. 
bishop g4. I guess he also wants to play queen f5, I guess. Should I play f3? Well, that's too much. Uh, maybe queen g3. No, queen g3, knight b4. Yeah, I really don't like what I'm doing. Okay, f3. Bishop h3. Now I can probably take on e5 and play knight f4. Maybe bishop on h1 is struggling, but okay. I should play faster. That's basically the main thing I'm concerned about. Bishop e6. Now the question is what to do. I could play e4, but I don't think that's a good way to go, actually. He wants to play a4, actually. A. Okay, just prevent his counterplayer. Of course, it's completely anti-positional, anti but yeah, what to do? Queen e7, I'll play queen d2, then queen f2. I should play bishop g2, I guess. Maybe knight h3 then. Oh, I had knight d6. Incredible. Maybe it wasn't so easy after that, but yeah, it's still a bit annoying. I don't see such an easy tactics. Now he just needs to move his queen to e7, I think. And it's not that easy to fight against this knight on e5. Should play with d1. Now knight c6 is a decent way to go. b6, alright. Play g4. Bishop a3. After knight c5, I think I'll take. Now, now it's. What is that? Knight f6 is a move now, yeah? He didn't see it. Now I'm much better. I mean, bishop goes to d5. I should be mating him, I, guess, I believe. Yeah, queen h4. There is no mate, or what? How is it possible? How is it possible? C6. Oh, yeah. What should I do now? I should play faster. That's the biggest problem for me. Yeah. I'm doing very badly. He's also not very fast. Oh, there's queen is removed. What to do now? Just fogging, I guess. All right. Yeah, some dirty fogging here. Just at some point, we didn't even care about the position evaluation. So, I think the Queen's Gambit declined for pretty well for me, so I should repeat it. So he goes for Bishop F4 this time, Knight BD7, the most solid line, he takes on D5, okay. It's not a very critical approach. Bishop D3, what do they play here? Is C5 a move? Yeah. I guess so, yeah. And then t4, eventually. I felt 
like detect c5 is a bad move. Maybe it's not. Queen a5 was probably a move there, right? For me. Now I can play bishop g4, I guess. And then take on f3, take on d3. Now I can probably play bishop f6 on knight e6. Yeah, I think I can tempo up this normal position. Yeah, play bishop f6, knight e6. Bonus hanging on b2, I mean. I'm, I have a very comfortable position. Now we'll just play queen a5. Because after bishop b2, he had rook b1, and then pawn on b7 is hanging. Queen b3, what should I do now? So d4 might be a move. Yeah, like d4. After after c takes d4, I'll just take on f3, takes and and then take on d4. I think I just just take row. Yeah, I should take on f3, take on d4, take on f3, take on a2. Yeah, just very equal. I don't think. Anyone can win this one. Okay, maybe I can try. I don't believe it is possible at all. B5, yeah, it's the right move, I guess. Should exchange these rooks, I guess. Or maybe I should just go for a mate attack. Maybe this is too much here. Okay, let's play d8. I have a trick there at some point. Yeah, h3. I wanted to play queen a5, maybe. He has queen b3 also. Okay. Yeah, I'm really trying to lose this one. What can you do? Oh, and I missed. I missed Bishop C7. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, it was impossible to lose this one, but I did manage to do it. Yeah, very bad. Very bad. Yeah. Missed everything. Still we call. I'm starting with black actually. Surprisingly. Okay, nice to see was was not really a move I wanted to make. But anyway. Should be fine. Rook e1. I want to play e4. Now I can play bishop h3. Knight g5, I think. Maybe should start with a4. Yeah, let's start with a4. a5. Now play knight d2 and e4. Move back. Bishop. Can move my knight to d5. Yes, knight c6, bishop b2. Knight e3. I think I have a very nice, very nice, very nice position. So yeah, h5. I'm not sure at all. But it's good for him. To provoke to open this his king, but now I need to solve this problem with d4 point somehow. Maybe bishop f1, yeah. Then knight d5. 
H4 I will just play knight knight d5 yeah knight d5 you can play knight d7 I don't think I care that much about this move play queen d2 just take on d5 look I have just better structure So c6, I should just go back, I guess. Yeah. C5. Interesting. What does it mean? I'm playing knight d5 once again. Oh, I could have just taken c5 or d5. I should be better, yeah. Knight c6. Oh, he wants to get his knight to d4. Do I have e5 here? Or maybe I should just take on c5, take on g7, play queen b2, and then f d1 and sacrifice an exchange. Yeah, that's probably what, I, what I'll do. Looks very promising at least from the practical point of view so I have this very strong knight on d5 I guess I'll play d4 regardless of his moves f6, yeah, now I can try to exploit his weakness on e6 Rook e5, knight d3, looks nice. Rook e7, bishop h3. Yeah. I don't like what I'm doing once again. You can play rook c8. Oh, sorry, rook c8, bishop takes c8. But now. So I can take, but I cannot. Yeah. The problem is that after the ninety six he has queen. Queen takes e six. E six. Yeah, just losing. He had an exchange up. Yeah, just resign probably. Worst time. Yeah. Time for comeback. Time for it to come back. D4, what should I go for? Let's try Dutch for one game. If it works. Probably not repeat it one more time, but yeah. C6. Yeah, we have on. Yeah, what do we do here? Knight e6. Try to develop my pieces as fast as possible. Just take only five. Bishop f5. Maybe f e5 next move. Just yeah. Just develop all the pieces as fast as possible. And even so, I have a worse structure, but yeah. Anyway, that should have a very good counterplay. Bishop g5, queen c7. Next move, hook a8, I guess. Yeah, but so far this match is not going well for me. He's spending a lot of time. C5, 
Very interesting decision. Yeah. But what happens if I just take on d4? Then take on c5. Don't really understand. Okay, so there is rook e7 as well. Yeah? Okay. I can play e4, of course, but then. Yeah, I think I should play e4. Take on d6, I would take. You can probably play knight e5 or something like that. I have more time, so good. That's very good, finally. Queen d5, he has g4. Pretty annoying. I'll play h6 first. Bishop f4. Can I play g5 here? I think I can. Yes, let's do it. Queen b3, I have queen d5. Should be fine. So he goes back. Now I'll play queen d5. And then rook d8. Okay, he decided to reroute his bishop to c4, but I'm not sure if it's such a good decision. Okay, I can play b5 now. I'd be for the move. Yes, let's do it. Look, I have Look, see eight right now. So Queen is three might be pretty annoying, but maybe I'll just play a five and give up this pawn. Then play knight d three if he takes it. Yeah, I think I have very good chances now, especially because of huge time advantage. So I just need not to blunder anything very seriously, and I'll be good. C5. I'll play c4, or I can take on d4, yeah. I'm winning a piece. Yes. Looks completely hopeless for him, yeah. So, c4 once again. Three and a half to three and a half. A very tense match so far. Not really getting anything. So, Queen Indian this time. Yeah, c6 is not a bad line at all. Play bishop c3, knight b2. And castle. Play queen c2. d1. Just. Now I can take, I think. b take c5. E3. Yeah, so he decided to take on this knight. I have hook d1. I should be slightly better. Can also play b4, b5 at some point. I'm not sure where I should do it, when I should do it. Maybe should just hook c1 first. Queen e8, alright. So, b4, knight e4. I'll just play knight e5. Just play it slowly. Yeah. Mm 
knight d7. And yeah, now I can play queen b2. Let's take on e5. It's not that easy for black because pawn g7 is hanging. You can take on c4 and get this slightly better structure, but I have a very strong bishop on g2. So yeah, right now black's problem is that there is no good square for its queen. Yeah, should be seven. What should I do now? I mean, he has no ideas basically. Maybe he won. Wait, can I take? Can I just take on d5? Yes, just get a better structure. Yeah, one more time. Pull on g7 is hanging, so he has to take his pawn. Now we play just knight f3. Yeah. Queen d7. What should I do now? I have a lot of options. Yeah. I just take, take queen, queen d2. Just need to speed up a bit. So I want to take on f6 now. And then pawn on d5 is hanging. Look c5. It doesn't look right somehow. Can, can I take on f6 and play e4? Is it a pawn? He has queen g4 now, yeah? Yes, it's very annoying. I keep missing one move tactics. The b4 maybe? Maybe it's not that bad yet. Yeah. Now I should just play e5, I think. Make a door, take on f6. Yeah, so far, it's a very equal match. Play d3, look f3. Maybe we'll get somewhere. It goes for this endgame. I am slightly better now. Decides just to give up this one. I don't really understand this decision, but okay. Okay, can play for a very long time now. That was a misclick, obviously. It was obviously a misclick here. Yes, I have rook f8 maybe. Yeah, I'm not going to win this one. Thanks my opening for not flagging in this game. Because yeah. He could have done it very easily. Okay. That well, game worked very well for me in this in this opening. So I should just repeat it, I guess. Bishop E2. So let's change anything. Now I can play just c6. Just the cards back to structure. a5, rook e8. Should not be a big problem for me. Yes. Knight f6, knight e5. I probably play. I want to say knight e4, but. 
can play F3 there. But I should do that anyway, yeah. F3, I want to play knight g5, and then knight e6. Queen h5, I have g6. So I, as then now I can play f6. So he has to go back without achieving anything. Yeah. I should just play bishop f8. Bishop, bishop f5 now. Yeah. Oh, so knight h4 is a move now. And then f3. I mean, he decides to exchange the pieces, but I don't really like this decision. I mean, oh, and he won just an exchange, so yeah. Hopefully I can win this one. I'm playing so badly today that I'm not sure about anything. B3. Yeah. Should I play just play G5? Go for a mating attack? Oh no. It was a very good move, but okay. Yeah. What should I do now? I'll take by look e4. Yeah. Incredible how bad I'm playing today. This is a bond, I believe. Maybe not here. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I should be winning anyway. Queen D8, Queen D7, H3. So. Should be more than enough to win a game. Yeah. But still, it's very annoying is it? what I'm doing. Maybe H3 is good, good way to go. Just go for an attack. Yes, of course he can take only five. To play look, look h4 first. Yes. Should I exchange greens? Not. Probably not. Should be mating. Should be a mating attack. Yeah. yeah maybe he, he will play King G1, but to just Bishop F4, play King G8, I guess. King, King of Seven, sorry, with the idea of Fug G8. Fug G1. I'll play Queen F5. Now we can check from D3. Okay, let's make some checks first. I'll just go for an endgame and just fuck him. Not the best, best way to go, but still. At least I will not blunder anything. Yeah, I'm just winning on time, basically. I need to do is not wander rook. Yes, they did wander actually. Okay, I managed to wander even there. Okay, winning anyway, but I 
Yes. So I'm leading by one point now. I think it's 5-4 right now. Once again, I will go for Queen's Indian. Just play another line with Rook E1. Let's get some more promising one. D6. Okay, Queen C2. Queen B3. Yeah, now I have a very nice position. Just more, more space for my pieces. My D7. E5. How should I react? D5 is a decent way to go. Bishop on B7 is completely misplaced for these structures. And I'll just go Queen C2 B4. Okay, this doesn't change the lot. Oh, knight c5. Yep, just play queen, queen c2. Yeah, it should work. So I don't think he can move his knight back. I'll just play bishop g5 now. f6, bishop c1. He might be losing his knight. Or, I mean, he'll have to choose some very ugly moves like b5. Yeah. I think I have a huge advantage here. Knight a6. It doesn't help a lot, I have to say. Play a3. That was probably a very bad move, yeah? Because I was, had a much stronger way to go. Okay, bishop f1. Knight a5, b4. Yeah, and we, I'm winning a piece. I'm winning a piece. Completely winning now. Just need to pay attention not to blunder anything. Yeah. There, is, there is a chance that I would blunder something, but okay, okay one. Well. Should be very good for me. I should just take probably. Take. Okay, go Queen C3. It's probably the worst technique by me, but yeah, what can I do? Bishop F1. I want to play H3 now. H3 maybe. Yeah, let's play H3. And I'm wondering, it takes if F takes if E4. Yeah. How is it possible? I mean, just just missing everything. It's good. Yeah. Take with a rook. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it would be a disaster if I would miss a win in this position. Okay. 
okay, I'll just focus now because I'm wrong time and also I don't like what's happening in this game. It's a nice way to tap his rook. Yeah. I think I have enough time. I'm blending all the pieces. And not help him. Okay, nice. Plus two. Six four. Now it's looking a bit better than it was a few games ago. Okay, I'll just stick with the Queen's Gambit declined. So opening for I'm getting the best positions probably. Yeah, that's an interesting line. There are different ways to go here. I will go with knight a6, knight c7 plan. And then queen d6. Okay, queen d6. a5. Maybe I should just play b5. And then bishop c8. Knight g3, bishop of 5 knight c5, I'll play knight e6 and exchange this knight. Decides to play a6. It's not a, it's not an obvious decision. So I, now I need to pay attention to different bishop d5 moves. I guess it's not working. Okay, it goes for knight b4, but I'll have bishop d7. So I don't know how to play this one. Let's play rook d8. Rook e7 just to defend against knight takes e6. And then I want to play g6, h5, and create some counterplay. I will just take, take, and make some careful move. Rook c7 probably. Of course, knight on b4 is very nice, but at the same point for the end game, a6 pawn could also be very weak. So I think I have a very decent position. h5. Not sure what he wants to do. No, probably not that easy for him to play as well. Yeah? Okay, I'll go bishop d7, rook c8, rook e8, and move bishop to c7. Okay, I'll just play it the most solid way possible. Now it's very nice for me. Yeah, there's no way I can lose this one. 
probably can't feel it also. But. Anyway, should be good enough. I'm leading, so I don't need to go all in. have taken only six yeah <laughs> incredible now I can go for e three one I guess not that I mean he has to play for it in but somehow this doesn't look right but maybe it's good enough actually yeah was a very decent decision actually indeed okay i'll just take it and play g5 okay, very strong last h bomb yeah much better now should be five I have rook c5 oh shit that was a mate in one Okay, that's in the draw. Not the worst result possible. Okay, same opening. So far, it worked very well for me. Bishop d2 is not the right way to go in these positions. Now it's just slightly worse of full blank basically. H6. Play queen c2, I guess. Queen c3. Then bishop h3. A4, B4. Yeah, I have a very nice position. I'm not really sure how I should proceed, but okay. I would try. Play knight d5 on knight d2 because this bishop on e4 is actually very annoying. So he takes on c4. Now I have some different options. Play knight e5, and after b5, I'll play f3. e4 but honestly I don't really like it so yeah he has this move But maybe it's still very good for me actually. Bishop d4, bishop c5, and e4. Should 
should I take? I'll play e4 first. Play e4. So he can't play knight c3. My bishop is dominating on c5. Back basically has zero counterplay. Absolutely zero counterplay. Uh, I'll just take it. Play king e3. Play h4. Then bishop h3. He wants to play g5, g5, g4. But now I have an h file. So, oh, yeah, this was a very bad move. Incredibly bad move. He could have just taken on f3. It will be all over, probably. For me, yeah. I'm playing very badly today, unfortunately. Don't know what to do. I'm just losing. Oh, he's making a comeback. Okay, let's see if I can hold there. Most probably not. I still have to go there. No other options basically. D3. Well played. Six and a half to five and a half. It's getting dangerously close. So I need to focus more. Take, take, go for this line. I don't think it's how they play with white there. It feels wrong. He wants to play e5 and give me a mate. So, might be a very decent way to go. Castle, I should play c5 as fast as possible. Now I have c4 as a threat. So. Bishop g5. I should just. h6, I think. And take on f6. Press e5, I'll play knight d5. D5 here. Might be looking for some bishop b1 mate, mating attacks, but mm, that's, that will not work for sure. Play knight f4, bishop e4, just 
take, take on d4. He can't take with a knight on d4 because of queen takes d4, queen takes d4, knight d2. And yeah, and if he plays g3, I have, I will have queen d5. Okay, one knight g6, pawn on e5 is hanging. So I'm probably just pawn up. And I can take on a2 as well, so. I'll just take on d4 and take on e5. Here d8. The idea of taking on d4. I have not wondered it for sure, but King g2. Okay, rook c8. Just some standard moves. I c4 now. Maybe I'm being just winning another pawn. It would be one, I would play f5. Maybe. Yeah, now I can take. Take. Play knight g3, knight e1. Oh, he goes for f5. What is that? Just take, take. Play bishop f8. Just two pawn up. g6, just need to be a bit careful not to blunder anything. Ok, 8 with the idea of b3. Should be resignable. Yes. So, 7 and a half to Five and a half. Very close. Need to score one more point. He keeps sticking with his openings. I see six. Let's try something off beat. So I just sacrificed two pawns, but Black is lacking some development, and I think from a practical point of view for Blitz games, this is an amazing opening. There are various ways to equalize with black here, but it's not that easy. Now I'll just play knight c4, and then bishop f4. It looks very bad for black. Knight d7, yeah. And I'm not even in a hurry. I mean, maybe I should play bishop f4, knight d6. I could have played bishop e3, bishop b6, for example. So, well, yeah, I'll just play b1. Just want to take on b7. Yeah, I can take on b7. Oh, queen c7. I'm just losing now. What I'm doing? Yeah, for real.
it became very tricky. Probably still not worse, but yeah. It's very annoying. I have a tournament starting in two days. And I'll be playing like this. I will lose many games. It is probably not that great for black, but I'm not sure if I can prove that. Can I take on d7 with a rook? But then he has rook take c6, yeah. Okay, I'll take the bishop. Yeah, and he has bishop e8 actually. So. I'm just pissed down. Pissed almost to zero counterplay. Doesn't look very promising for me. Still not that easy for Blair, but anyway. Now I can play Queen C6, I think. And then give him a million checks. And that's the call, I think. Yeah, just a very lucky escape. Very lucky today, yeah. It's a repetition. So, eight six half a point more needed. So this is an important game. So, choose Bishop F4 line once again. And this one, okay. Let's see. Gate, a5, play knight f6, knight e4 once again. If I play f6, and then bishop d6 and exchange this knight, this is bishops. Okay, the question is now is should I, if I should play a4 or not? I'll do it, but just to prevent b4. I'm not sure that it was a good decision. Rook c5, I want to play g6, king g7. Yes. It's getting worse for me. Play queen b6. It would be very difficult to reshuffle my pieces. Queen c6. Now I can play b6. Not sure if I want that. Probably not. After Hook takes c6, Vice would have very nice compensation. So he goes Hook a5. If I take, okay, I have to take, I guess. Maybe I will need to play b5. It looks ugly, but actually not that bad. He wants to take on b5. Of course, it's worth it for me, but I think it's just defendable. 
I have just one weakness on C6, and that's it. I think I can defend it pretty easily. Okay, we'll go queen d6 to exchange queens. Yeah, with queen on d6. It's actually very nice already for me. Bishop d7. Now I can just just stay basically. Play five. Move my king to d6. And just stay down, yeah. He basically has zero ideas. So it's not going anywhere. I can play c5, c4. Probably on slightly better already. Just need to be a bit careful with b6. Just prevent all the counterplay. I need to play faster. Yeah, just to not not to be to get fucked. Be good enough in the same game. I don't know why did I go for this. Nice way to lose a game. All right, he's fighting. Just lost a few completely beyond positions. Yeah, just need to focus now. Just need not to lose this one. Otherwise, it would be a tight break. So. He's going for F5, I guess, yeah. Knight f4. Maybe I should just play f3. e3 next move, then I'll play knight d3, maybe e4, I'll have some time for e4, if e4 is actually a threat, yeah. So after now after e4 he wants to take on f4, so I'll just move my knight. Yeah, 
as e4. Looks very promising for me. I don't know if I'll get something from here, but right now it's amazing. E5. Play C5 now, maybe. Or I can just play D5. I can also take on F8. I'll go D5. The, the easiest way. Then I want to play Bishop H3 at some point. Okay, Bishop H3. Pawn on E5 is hanging now. I can take it anyway. I think. Okay, he'll we'll take the king, but I don't think that's what he wanted to do. Honestly speaking, Queen C3 now. Take with a C pawn. Rook seven, just play queen d back, queen d two back. Take bishop by six, queen c three. Is queen g five a move now? It would be a bit annoying actually. Okay, queen f6, I'll play king g2. I'm sorry, losing this position, so... Maybe I lost already. Maybe I just lost, yeah. Okay. Bishop d4, I have queen a3. Taking a bishop. Decides to take. But now, if I'm not getting mated, then I will be fine. I should have enough counterplay to give a, to give a perpetual. I don't need more. So what's the best way to do it? Just queen c8, I guess. Is there a mate now? I'm not sure that I just stick with the, the repeating moves. Okay. Yeah, incredible. Very close match, yeah. Yeah. I lost a couple of completely drawish positions, yeah. This black, but so, yeah. Yeah, it was very nice, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sí, sí, hablo español, tal vez podemos hacerlo la próxima, la, la próxima vez en español, no sé. Creo que es, también es una buena idea, sí. Sí, sí. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.